Hey guys, Erwin Tech here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how device restrictions work and how your kids can get around them. I'm going to be doing a multi-part series on this on how your kids can get around these restrictions that you may have put on their iPhone. Many other videos exist out there, but none of them have the same hacks that I'm going to be showing you today. And hey, What's better than a kid to show you how to do these, am I right? Before we get started, you will need these three things for this to work. Power, data connection, and permissions. Here are the four ways that you may be able to put restrictions on your kid's phone. Number one is through the cellular carrier. For example, Verizon parents can install an app on their kid's phone that can track all the usage and all the apps they've been using for how much time they have been using it. Through the Verizon app that you can download on your phone or the AT&T T-Mobile app and much more. The second way is the Wi-Fi provider. Parents can put restrictions and limits through the Xfinity Wi-Fi app on their phone using like the Google Wi-Fi home service. They can put restrictions on the kid's device that allows them to only be on certain websites for a certain amount of time and you can block certain websites that you don't want them to be on. The third one is the router manufacturer. Parents can also just kind of like the Xfinity one, limit the sites you go to, limit how much time you are on the site. So let's say you're only allowed 10 minutes on the site. After those 10 minutes are up, it will not let you on that site anymore. They can also block certain sites. Like if they don't want you on a website that you're not allowed to be on, then you can't access it while using their internet. And number four is device OS, which is today's example for iOS 14. There's a little thing called screen time in your kid's setting on their iOS device, which you can use to limit their screen time and apps and much more. For example, there are five parts to the screen time, which is downtime, app limits, communication limits, apps allowed, and content and privacy restriction. I have three ways for you on how you and your kids can get around. <laughs> is to turn off your screen time. To do that, you open your settings app on your iOS device, go to the top, click on your little iTunes profile at the top, scroll down to the bottom, hit sign out, make sure to copy all of your data, and then screen time will be removed since screen time is associated with your iTunes account. So if you sign out, there are no screen time restrictions. You can do whatever you want. The second one is a little easy, but a little more advanced than the last one. So what you wanna do is, again, open your settings app, scroll down to where it says general, click on that, scroll to the bottom where it says reset, then hit reset all settings and then go through the procedure to reset all the settings on your phone and then it'll work just as like it's a brand new phone you can reinstall all your apps with no screen time limitations on your device the third and final way is deleting and reinstalling apps apps that have time restrictions on them for you can only use them for a certain amount of time if you're to delete and reinstall that app from the app store it messes with the code associated with the app that the screen time uses to identify the app and block it for a certain amount of time during the screen time thing it's kind of complicated to explain how it works so basically a parent puts a restriction on an app let's say you're only allowed to use this app for 30 minutes a day and then if you're to delete the app and reinstall it it would be delete all their info in it and be fresh just like new and the code on the app that screen time uses to associate it with the permissions will be wiped and it'll have a brand new code so it'll go over to add the restrictions but it won't be the right code that's matched on the list so it won't work and you can use that app in free reign whenever you want those are all the hacks I have for you guys today. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you want a part two for this series. And yeah, guys, I really hope you enjoyed my whole video that I just made. And make sure to stay safe out there because parents, you know, your kids can get around all this screen time stuff and you couldn't even be knowing about it. So yeah, and for kids, you guys too, you can use these to get around your screen time permissions if you want to also. Before I end the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on those post notes notifications so you get notified whenever I upload brand new videos to my channel. If you want to support me even more, you can buy my memberships. They are always linked in the description below. As always, that would be greatly appreciated and I'll see you all next time. Bye.